Good day everybody and welcome to Edmeister Tech. So I was doing some easy filing today when I realized that there is a problem on the new easy filing version where if you do your IRP5 or IT3 certificates manually, um, there's a bit of an issue where you can't create a new certificate on an existing or previous employee. When you do import your employee, then it only imports the previous period certificates and it doesn't allow you to create certificates for the current period, which is 2025-02 while I'm making this video. So I found a workaround on this and I'm going to quickly show you how to get this workaround up and running. So the first thing we're going to do is when you have logged into your easy filing system, you need to go to retrieve certificate history. Then you're going to select the backup file of the previous version of easy filing that you've used. So let's say as an example, uh, you did the 2024-08 period um, and that backup that uh, you made a backup somewhere on your computer, we're gonna restore that backup that contains the specific data that we need. So firstly, you're going to select the easy filing backup that you made from the previous version of easy filing. And that should be the previous version that you backed up on the 2024-08 uh, reconciliation period and then you're going to type in the username and then the password of um, that specific file and it must be the username and password for that specific backup file that you are trying to import then you're going to type the page and number of uh, the company you want to import there and then you're going to select the period. Now, as you can see, you can't select the 2024-08 period. You need to select the 2024-02 period as that is the latest period that you can retrieve. And then you're going to say uh, request certificate data. It's going to load a bit. And then it's going to say certificate history successfully retrieved, which we are happy with. Now, when we go to our employers here at the top, you'll see now I have different employers listed. And the one I imported now is there. Now, I can select that employer and I can click OK. As you can see, I'm now on that employer. And if you go to employer admin, that employer details should show here on the system. And you can just double check this details, make sure it is still the correct and up to date details. Now we need to go and we need to create certificates. Now in the past or at the moment as it worked, if you now went to employee admin, you couldn't find any employees at all unless you selected the 2024-02 period here on the top then you could see your employees here at the bottom. But now when you do click on one of these employees, as an example on this one, you'll see that this employee is only showing the 2024 period and you can't go to your 2024-02 period. If you go back to employee admin, let's quickly go back there, and you select your 2025-02 period, you'll see that the employees falls away. So how do we fix that? So the workaround that I have is as follows. Firstly, you're going to select the 2024 period to make sure that it reflects your employees for the previous period. Then you're going to select view on one of those employees and you're going to just go through some of these tabs with the information of that specific employee, go through it and go through it. Then as soon as you've done that, you're going to click save. As soon as I save the details, you'll see there on top that period has now came open. So now if I click on this, I can now select 202502. It's going to jump to 202502 while I'm still within this employee. And now all you need to do again is just confirm the details. If everything has been confirmed, just click save. And it will say the employee details has been updated successfully. Now if you click OK and you go back to your employee admin, let's quickly go back to employee admin. You see now there that employee is going to be active that I just created. So if you now need to do the rest of the employees, first you're going to go back to the period of 2024-02. It's going to show you the employees for the previous period. You're going to select on one of these employees. You're going to just go through the details. You're going to click save. As soon as you click save, it's going to make this tab on the top open for the period, uh, the, the period you, you can select. You're going to select the 2025-02 period again. You're just going to go through the details and then you can just click save. It's going to save it. And again, when I go back now to my employee admin for 2025-02, that two employees will now be listed at 2025-02, which is great. The only downside about this now is 
Since the new easy filing shows each period individually, you're just going to have to go and check. As an example on this employee, you'll see now that the previous RP5 that was created for the 2024 tax year of assessment is now for some reason linking to the 2025-02 period. And every time when you now enter a new certificate for this specific employee, this data will still pull through. So all you need to do is just view the employee certificates and then the one that shows it's active for the 2025-02 period of recon. Just view that certificate and just say cancel certificate. And just go back to the employee again, view them, view the employee certificate. Actually, you can see these were just one certificate. So as soon as you cancel, the one's going to show cancelled. The ones I've tested so far have not influenced the previous year's submission at all. It only influenced the current year submission. So the current year submission will now just have a EMP 601 certificate that will show all the cancelled certificates, but it's not going to influence the amount that's going to pull through to your reconciliation. So now when that is done, now you can just add a certificate while you're under 202502 and it's going to create the certificates for you. Note that your certificate number will now just start with different numbering since it picks up that cancelled certificate, but you can renumber it if you want to. Just make sure you don't make a mess up of the numbering. And then you can just enter this uh, RP5 or IT3 manually. You can save the certificate and you can repeat the process with all the other employees as well. And it's going to give you the total employees uh, certificates listed. And then you can do the reconciliation. I'm going to quickly add all my employees and then we can carry on. Um, just as an example, I'm going to do one more employee here. So again, you're going to click on the previous period to show the previous period's employees. You're going to click on the employee that you want to pull through to the new 2025-02 period. You're going to click the save button here. As soon as you saved it, the period tab comes open. You then select the 2025-02 period. Then you click save again and it will save this employee under the 2025-02 period. As you can see, that one popped up. Again, the only problem now is when you open this employee, you'll see that the previous year of assessments RP5 is now linked for some reason to the current one as the period 2025-02. So even if you do pull through your reconciliation, which we can quickly do here, we now I just uh, retrieved the previous reconciliation details. Now you'll see here, if I click on the financial particulars, it's gonna pull through my total liability amount already. Um, and that pulls now through from the RP5 certificates that duplicated basically from the previous uh, personnel from the previous year. So you need to make sure that you just cancel those certificates so that these amounts will not pull through here. And then it is going to make it easier for you uh, just to recon at the end. So I will do the rest and I will show you an update on the video when I'm done that you can see exactly how it's going to look like. So again, just to quickly show you, you're going to go to your employee admin. You're going to click on that employee. The 2024 year of assessment certificate, just click and cancel that certificate since that certificate does not need to be submitted again. And again, according to what we could find, it did not influence the previous year's submission, but I cannot guarantee that. It's just a workaround that I found working for me. So now when that certificate is canceled, I'm just quickly going to do the last one here. Uh, cancel the previous certificate. And now when we go back to the reconciliation, you will see that it, because we canceled all three certificates that now duplicated with the copy of the employees, you'll see here that now the liability amount is zero. So now this will enable us to go and insert the new certificates manually as we did on the old easy filing with the hand. Um, then at least you'll know that new certificates will pull through. But just remember, if you don't cancel the duplicate certificates, it will not, it will still show here and it will mess up your reconciliation. So please make sure you go and cancel your previous certificates first, that it shows cancelled here because it's going to show green as for some reason it uh, duplicates the certificate in the current financial year. So make sure you cancel that. 
if you did cancel it then at least you know it's it's good you can now go on and now you can manually add your certificates for the current financial year and it will pull through to the new reconciliation so let's quickly add a certificate for this employee here going to add certificate just to show you that now after you've cancelled the certificates it will pull through the new certificates that you create to the reconciliation so certificate type this is going to be an it3 because there's no page or unpayable year of assessment is going to be 2025 period to work this person specifically work one two three four five six seven eight nine periods out of the 12 um the employment date was the 1st of June 2024. Uh, just do this. 2024, June the 1st. And the start date for this specific uh, certificate will then be 2024-0601. And the certificate end date would be 2025-0228. Um, there's no voluntary over deduction, fixed tax rate, or ETI indicator. And the SI7 code for this will be in the financial sector um, let's just quickly uh the financial sector and then we're going to the next uh the income we're now going to add manage source code and i like to just search the source codes if you know it by heart if you don't know it by heart you can just click on this drop down list it's going to show you all the source codes there and i can just put the total amount there and i can go to the next one i'm just going to add the reason code for 141 i'm going to put the uif for this specific person here it's going to be remember this uif that you put here must be the two percent that the employer paid over not just the one percent for the employee just take note of that and then just the reason code for IR, uh, it3 we're just going to select in less than the tax threshold we're going to add the code and now this IT3 certificate should be saved. So now to make sure, we're going to say save certificate. Under the employee, it's going to show created this new specific certificate. And now when we go to reconciliation, let's just refresh. It's going to pull through. And here you can see there the liability pulls through that UIF that we just entered on that IT3 certificate now pulls through under liability here. And that just indicates that when you do it this way by cancelling the duplicate certificates of the previous year, creating a new one for the current year, it will pull through and your recon can be done. Again, take note this recon is not reconning at the moment because I still need to add the other certificates. I just wanted to show you how easy it is to get this workaround for the manual submission. So I hope this helped you. Uh, if you are struggling with the manual submissions on easy filing, uh, try this method. Uh, again, I can't give any guarantees for this not influencing your previous submissions, although we have tested a few now and it didn't give any errors for us on the previous uh, submissions while we did this duplicate of the employer data or the employee data. It just makes it easier so that you can now duplicate your employee from the previous period and you don't have to put it in manually every time. It saves a lot of time and it just makes it easier for you. Guys, I hope this helps you. Uh, if you want to see more of this video content, let me know. I can definitely make more of this. I can also show you the process going further doing the reconciliation. But for now, I just wanted to give you a quick update on how you can make sure that you uh, can submit manual RP5 or IT3 certificates to the new easy filing for your businesses. Guys, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to this channel and hit the like button if you like the content. Uh, there will be a lot more content like this coming your way in the near future. Thanks.